Hello, welcome to this short and direct video on workspaces in Power BI. So what are workspaces? Workspaces, you access them here under favorite. Once you click on the drop down or whatever is showing for you here, you will see different workspaces. So I, uh, by default, you will always have my workspace. Then you can create other workspaces. In my own case, I've created two other workspaces, Domino's Pizza, Stock Analysis. So that brings me to what are workspaces essentially. Workspaces are more like collaborative spaces. No, no, like the name says, workspaces. If I want to build a new project and maybe it's, we're going to be four, we collaborate on it. Maybe for my department and we're going to be four working together on this project. Know, creating the analysis maybe someone's going to handle if this was a company analysis maybe someone is going to ana handle the analysis of the of the profit and loss statement another person is going to focus on the balance sheet another person is going to focus on the cash flow and maybe some other person maybe we are four the other the fourth person will do ratio analysis and so we want to be able to collaborate on this work so the recommended way is you create a new workspace and had all everyone who's going to work together as a team on this project so i'm going to come into group workspaces the plus sign there click on on plus and this will come up right so i'm going to call it uh, i'm going to call it new workspace you can give it uh, you should give it a name that is more meaningful in your own case okay and then you have these settings in here Normally, you would want to use private for most of your projects. So, meaning only the members, you people you've hired as team members, can access this this project. You know, can view what's inside, right? So, but if you like, I did in this other one, my stock analysis. I was actually I created it as a demo for anybody to access. In my own case, I made it public so anyone can view it. You know, but in the in most real time care real life cases you only want people you've added to be able to see the content and then what should be the default access right of anyone you had if you choose members can edit power bi content it means or everyone you had in here we have like similar to an admin right you know they can edit they can add their own make edits to to the entire report so if that's the situation you want where everybody working on it will be the only people you are adding in my own case the four we are four so i'll be adding three more people and i want by default everyone to be able to edit make uh, edit and create new content in this um in this report so i will choose can edit power bi content but if i'm going to probably add up my managers uh, other departments and I just want them to be able to view but not make any edits so maybe i'm going to add up seven people three extra people my team collaborators and then four more people no three more people who will only be able to view so in this case i will need to say can only view and then i'll add everyone and after adding the people i want to be able to allow to make edits then i will change their own I'll give them extra additional rights so and I'll make them uh, admin okay so let's let's see how that works anyway so I'm going to choose can only view and then I've had uh, I had some of my colleagues and one more thing with this is you can only have people that you're on the same domain which you can have people outside of your domain meaning it will check the domain name you can have someone who is not within the same domain as you so you can only have people in your company i'm going to have my other colleagues okay so i'm adding three more people so this should be enough and then i click on add so once you click on hard you you can delete before you save i'm going to just straight away go ahead and click on save so i click on save okay so the moment i click on save you will see that workspace show up in here so this is the workspace right 
I'm in the new workspace and showing that I don't have any I don't have any anything content yet I can add in add new content and the uh, new service create new report but let's go back and see how you can make edits to the workspace itself so I click here and I click edit group and then it will show all the different people who have access to this workspace and as you can see this is me I'm the admin this is someone else assuming this person has accepted I can come in here and give the person either an admin right so the people with admin rights are the ones who can make edits so uh, because this is me I'm the creator I definitely will have an admin right but for others once they've accepted to but for others I can make them ad admin and that way they will be able to edit or if I want to let everybody again be able to edit I change this to edit and now everyone can edit the the, the whatsoever is in this content in the workspace so I'm going to click on save and, uh, and okay so that is it for this short and direct video on workspaces in uh, Power BI thank you